Hi everybody, I'm Tara Makeup. I'm about to create a really quick and easy smoky eye that everybody could achieve at home using all products from the PS range in Primark. So starting off with my base, I'm going to use an illuminating primer. This product here is absolutely amazing for achieving a gorgeous, glowy, dewy finish to your skin. So I'm going to apply a little bit to the back of my hand and then I'm just going to buff it in to my skin in circular motions all over the face. The next product I'm going to use is the Longwear Mineralize Foundation. This is a really nice full coverage foundation, so perfect for nights out and special occasions. So again, I'm going to buff it all over in circular motions. Take your time at your foundation and make sure to really, really buff it right into the skin so it lasts much better. Okay, so once you're happy with your foundation, it's time to apply some concealer. So to do that, I'm going to use the PS Pro Concealing Palette. The first area I'm going to conceal is under the eyes, and for that you need to use a couple of shades lighter for your concealer. So I'm going to use this middle shade here. So I'm actually going to apply it like so. So I'm going to come down the side of the nose, and I'm going to come up in a V. And then I'm going to fill in the triangle, so you can see this is going to give us a really nice lifted effect. So this particular concealer is really creamy, so it's really easy to blend. So you can see we're getting really good coverage here and those blemishes are gone. Okay, so now to set the base we're going to use a powder. So I'm going to use the PS Pro Longwear Powder. This is actually a translucent powder, so it's perfect for everybody. It's really important to press your powder on like this. Okay, so the next step is contouring. So to do that, I'm going to use the Contour and Sculpt palette. So I'm gonna start with the matte bronzer here, and I'm literally going to apply this in the shape of a three down the side of the face, three or four times. So we're also adding warmth to the skin by doing this. For highlighting now, I'm actually going to use this baked shimmer product. So because this is more of a nighttime look, we're gonna go a little bit heavier with our highlighter. We're highlighting our brow bone and our cheekbone at the same time. Then I'm just going to lightly dust this down the center of the face, center of the nose, and onto the chin. Then I always use my finger to apply a little bit extra to my cupid's bow. So moving on to the eyebrows, and I'm actually going to use the bronzing product as well. So use your own eyebrow as the guide. So for this look, we're going to use the Smoky Eyes palette. A gorgeous selection of light to dark shades. And I'm gonna start off using this really nice kind of rich purple color. I'm literally just going to apply this all over the lid, up as far as the socket. With blue and green eyes, it's really gonna make them pop. With brown eyes, it's a gorgeous color as well. Okay, so now we want to add a little bit of a darker shade. So we're going to start off lightly and gradually build it. We're going to keep this colour a bit closer to the lash line now. Because we're using darker colours, we don't want it to be harsh, so we always need to go back and soften it. Okay, so the next step is eyeliner. So I'm going to use this really nice black pencil liner, and I'm going to run this along the waterline. I'm going to go right into the inner corner with this. So just by applying that there, you can see there's a difference already. This really makes the whites of the eyes appear brighter and the colour of your eye is really going to pop now. And a little bit of our charcoal grey. And I'm going to smudge under the eye. Get a little bit of this highlighter colour and I'm going to apply this into the tear duct just using my finger. So just softening up under the eye like so with your fluffy brush. And we're going to get that really gorgeous smoky finish. So the next step to finish off the eyes is mascara, and I'm going to use this high definition volume mascara. I like to apply my mascara once, let it dry, and then reapply it to get a really nice dramatic finish. I'm gonna finish this look off with a nice pop of pink on the lips, which is really nice and complimentary with the purple eyeshadow that we used earlier on. So I'm gonna start off with this felt liner pen, which is a really nice pop of pink. And then I'm going to use a lipstick to finish off the look. And that's my finished look.